following him, uh, obviously, for years. Uh, we've been going to his town halls, trying to support him because he's been getting beat up a little bit, as you know, in the position of the immigration reform. We're actually here in Washington, D.C., because for the last three weeks, we've been running a, a bus tour across the country, taking the stories of, of our families uh, door to door. But also just knocking on members of Congress's doors. And uh, so we've got about 200 people here from all across the country. We're in the process of doing a hearing right now uh, here in the building uh, with members of Congress, with Bishop Minerva, from the United uh, Conference of uh, Methodist Bishops. Uh, but we wanted to come by and say hello. I know the senators are busy, I know they're in the middle of doing a lot of work. But we just wanted to uh, just impress upon. Uh, Senator McKinney's office, the urgency of the moment, and I think you know that. But if we could just quickly just tell uh, Carla and could uh, talk about their story so that you can relay that on to the Senate. Just because from Arizona. I'm a citizen, I'm a citizen. My sister and my mother and my father were all born in Mexico. Uh, my father is right now a U uh, U.S. president. My mother is still undocumented, and my sister was sent to Mexico uh, for um, like as well, like and it was like um, I was punished for entering the country at a young age. I'm 24 now, and I just got my residency in February. But I denied three times. Fourth time, you know, I finally got it. But it's just such a hard process, and it's so so much to do. So like, it's you know, mom, she has to leave the country. So we're trying to get this visa, and she has two kids. And my sister, she was actually in Mexico for ten months waiting, and because my mother was documented, she couldn't see her, and we could only see her. I only saw her four times last year. So I know how it feels to be away from my sister and for my mom not being able to see her child. So it's it's really painful because what if she leaves, you know? Um, that's my mom. You know, she's she's everything to us. She's the one who raised us. It's just it's going it's going to be hard. That's why we're here fighting for her to stay here with us. Because now that we're finally reunited we don't want to we don't want that to be gone again. Is it, is it okay, one quick story from Washington State. Yeah, uh, my name is Marco, and uh, I graduated from the United States when I was 13. I didn't know any English. I uh, graduated from high school, uh, undocumented. I was able to, through hard work and dedication, get a full ride scholarship. Uh, and I graduated from the uh, University uh, of Whitworth in Eastern Washington. I went to Whitworth too. Oh, great. Uh, right. uh, yeah. So, um, I graduated undocumented, and um, uh, but now through the DACA program, I was able to to obtain, you know, to have some some sort of relief. But uh, but we can't live our lives in two year increments and in two year spans. So um, we, um, you know, and DACA is not enough. Different action is not enough. We still have parents, sisters who were wanting, you know, some some they need some sort of relief. And so we urge Senator McCain to take a step and, and do the right thing to push for immigration reform, comprehensive immigration reform. Any reactions or questions? Yeah, well, I mean, um, I'm sure you guys have seen our bipartisan framework that we put out with the group. Um, one of the things that runs through it is trying to keep families together because it incentivizes coming here illegally if half your family is here and you're in Mexico. You know, I'm sure it's crossed your mind to enter illegally. And, um, we don't, you know, we want to discourage that. So, by uniting families, we take away that that uh, that want. You know, it, it's, it's a very compassionate part of our um, our plan to keep families together, do what's right, get rid of get rid of the backlogs that that, that are tearing families apart. Um, so yeah, definitely, Senator King doesn't want to see families uh, living in, in an international sense. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem right. So, what did what do you think? Uh, as Arizona, they could be doing in Arizona uh, to work with the Um I'm not. I mean, like, like I said, going to the town halls is a great way to uh, do it. Um, I'm not sure if, how much it needs to be done in Arizona. Um, mm -hmm. I think everybody in the delegation understands the problem. Uh, hopefully, everybody will be on board. Senator Flake and Senator is part of our group, so we're going to go see. Yeah, Senator so I mean, the whole the both Arizona senators are part of 
solving the problem. So um, working in, in the house uh, as a whole is you know a big part of making sure something is passed. So anybody in particular that you think that we can? Uh, not not that I'm recommending people go see, but yeah, just um, lobbying all members of Congress. Yeah. And we're trying to do that. That this is uh, this is uh, the principles that we, that we're that we're promoting and that we're working towards. So all the conversations we're having locally and nationally, especially with members of Congress, are highlighted. So I'm going to leave this with you. And this is actually the letter to uh, to the senator from our our foreign network that we really would like to sit down and see the senator, uh, perhaps back in Arizona. So this this letter talks about the Easter recess during March 25th or April 25th. April 5th. So I don't know if we need to follow up with the scheduler done. Yeah, what well, do you well, recommend? I'm probably, I'm not, I guess his, his uh, Arizona time is usually scheduled by uh, the Phoenix office. Mm -hmm. um, so contact it's them. Michelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So contact them um, and hopefully, I'm not sure if his, his plans happen in Arizona for Easter. He usually likes to take the weeks off to go to do four more trips. Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, yeah, will hopefully, you help hopefully process this letter? Yeah, sure. Okay. Will you do that? Yeah. Do that? Okay. yeah. And then these are actually copies of a thousand letters. Okay. We went door to door uh, to voters, and they actually signed this letter that says we want a comprehensive immigration reform. So I'm going to leave Great. them with you. Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Great. Now, now you're the keeper of, yep. of that goal. Great. Anything else? That you no. Yeah. We're just we're very optimistic. Thomas, Arizona, and we are, Thomas is actually a part of the Fair Immigration Reform Movement, it's a national civil rights organization, and all of these folks represent different states, and we're here in Washington, D.C., culminating a bus tour, a national bus tour, uh, to bring light to the stories of families that have been separated uh, by deportation, by the broken immigration system, and we've been visiting uh, members of Congress and Senators all day long, we actually got a hearing uh, here in the building uh, at 1 o'clock with some members of Congress and Senators. And we heard, we've been just telling our stories all day long. We were at the Republican National Committee office this morning. And, uh, but we also wanted to come and say hello to the Senator. We know he's part of the gang of eight. And we wanted to have you hear a couple of stories. Great, yeah. But why don't we go around and just introduce ourselves and Perfect. a couple of folks and stories. Maria Salazar, I'm from Illinois, the Illinois Coalition of Immigrant and Refugee Rights. How's it going? Marco from Washington State. Um, I am with One America. I volunteer. Okay, good to meet you. with One America, Washington State. Jamie Phillip from the Center for Community Change, the national nonprofit based here in DC. Okay, great. Good to meet you. Emily Gelbaum, also from Center for Community Change. Hi, Lisa Lucas here from the Center for Community Change. Hi, Maha Jashan from One America from Washington State. All right. So, yeah, we want to encourage the center to please uh, take action, be a champion for immigration reform. Um, myself came to the United States when I was 13 years old. Um, didn't know any English. I learned like most just watching cartoons and watching TV. And so I graduated from high school undocumented. Um, was able, fortunate enough, through hard work and dedication, to obtain a full ride scholarship to uh, Woodward University in Eastern Washington. Um, from there, I graduated and still undocumented and with, without much hope for the future. Uh, until the free action came along, I was able to apply for that, and uh, and now it's it's been it's been a great help. But uh, we can't leave our you know our lives in two-year increments. Uh, we want a permanent solution. We want the Congress and the Senate and the President to address this from the root. Uh, and there's so many families, our parents, our brother, older brothers and sisters. Um, you know, there's not a solution and a pathway for them to, to be part of the system. Uh, and so we just want to encourage the center to take action and, and be a champion for immigration reform. Great, thank you. One of the, the other stories, that we, our two families from Arizona had to leave because they had to catch a flight, but um, Gina Sanchez has been in the country for 14 years and she has two children and, and she has to leave behind in Mexico. And she has one child here in the United States who is a citizen, but she hasn't seen her children in Mexico for 14 years. And again, I mean, she, what is she going to do? Is she going to uh, leave one country and leave another child? Or I mean, and she hasn't seen her, her daughters for, for all of these years. So, so again, I think we all know that there's an urgency to this movement. I think there's an open window. Uh, and I know that Senator Flake and Senator McKean are um, part of the Gang of Eight. Um, 
our firm organization has sent the letter. I don't know if you've seen it, Chance. I'm not, no. And basically laying out our principles for, for our uh, uh, confidence of immigration form, which is this, uh, this document. And then this letter is also requesting uh, for the senator to meet with, with our organization in Arizona. Okay. We've, been, we've been to Senator uh, Flake's office twice now in the last 30 days. And Valentine's Day, we've delivered 1,000 letters from voters asking for the same to act quickly. Yeah, uh, but I'm happy to pass along any information that you've got. Uh, 